Well, the strange thing is, I remember the journey very well, but I can't remember parting with my family. And, you know, I, I just assume it was so traumatic, it was wiped out of my memory, but older children talk about this all the time. But I can't remember it. All I can remember is the train and it's stopping just short of the Dutch border. People are going on and screaming and shouting and searching us, doing a body search and looking in our little suitcases. Um, and then when the train went on, when the doors opened again, it was a different world. There were people, nice ladies on the Dutch side with uh, white hats, and they were giving out hot dogs with mustard. And I remember the boat journey vaguely, and I remember crossing the tracks in Harwich to get the train to London. And the place, the big hall somewhere where we waited till we were collected and taken off to our destinations. Well, it, it, it was obviously there was going to be a war. So to walk around with a name like Heinz Lischwitz was, was not a, a good idea. So the Heinz soon became Henry. And then I think the founders got fed up with, because they had no children of their own. Uh, they got fed up with people saying, well, who is this kid and why is And they just stuck the name Fodder on me. Um, without ever, and this is important, without ever trying to pretend that they were my real parents, they always reminded me I had a family back in Germany. Even when the war started, they'd say, Henry, don't forget, you have a father and you have a grandmother. And we don't know what happened to them. We'll have to wait till after the war. They were very ethical in, in that respect. But uh, as soon as I learned the language, which was a couple of months, I think, um, I just blended in. And on my birthday, my seventh birthday, my father telephoned me. It was a big deal because, you know, it was booked three days in advance, and we were told at such and such a time there would be a call from abroad, and we all were there, and it was one of these telephones which you put in your ear and one on a stand, and the phone rang, and they gave me the phone, and a man talked, and I couldn't understand him, and that was my father. And I'm not even sure if the memories I have are because of the photos. But I really have no idea what sort of person he was, except that he loved me very much. Yes, I remember the postcards coming, and I remember being, being sat down at the kitchen table and told to write. Children are thoughtless. They don't think of these things. Um, but yes, I remember the postcards coming. But then when, I, when Mrs. Fona collected them and put them in an album and put them away, I don't think they surfaced until, until Judy and I got married and we got all sorts of things that were mine, so to speak that the phoners had kept for me, including this album full of cards. After that phone call, by the way, the postcard switched to English because he realized I couldn't understand German. My grandmother certainly spoke or wrote English. There's one which is particularly poignant, and that's the one where he writes about, it looks like there's war. And if there is war, God bless you and Uncle and Auntie. And the next day was war. <laughs>